so I just did a poll, a couple of polls on my Twitter. Um, what's if you have to choose one, which one do you would you do you choose Bitcoin BTC, Bitcoin BCH, or Bitcoin SV? And to my surprise, my followers voted uh, about 70% for, um, and also show our results, 70% uh, uh, voted for Bitcoin BTC and only 10% voted for Bitcoin BCH and 7% voted for Bitcoin SV. Uh, very surprised, but it's actually very good because it means I'm not preaching to the core uh, because, um, well, most of my followers believe in Bitcoin BTC. Also, another poll is um, uh, how much of your total portfolio, that's real estate included, is invested in um, crypto today and 50% um, voted for more, that they are more than 50% invested in crypto today. Um, and then there's like mm, a very small amount um, and there's also 30% uh, below 10% invested. Eh? So that's also interesting. I'm very surprised to see that. I don't know if these results are representative of reality because there was no option to see the results. But yeah. And another poll is, um, do you believe we have bottomed or do, do we still have to see the bottom? And the majority votes uh, it's 50 and also show results but about 50% no 60% believes you've seen the bottom or 50% 50, 50 and then you have also 20-30% that believes we haven't seen the bottom uh, and then 20% votes show results I, I really like this uh, because my convictions are <laughs> the inverse of what the majority votes eh? so um the majority is invested uh, for more than 50% in crypto. I don't think that's justified yet uh, because I believe that the bottom is not in uh, and the majority believes the bottom is in. Um, maybe just a couple of quick points why I believe that to, not to be the case. Um, why I don't think the bottom is in is because I've said it so many times and I will say it again. Uh, past performance is the best indicator of future performance that means that yes it's not a guarantee eh, that past performance does not guarantee future performance but it is the best indicator meaning you want to look at the future look at the past and that's going to give you the best indicator that's true when it comes to performance of individual investors uh, or the performance of a lawyer or a notary or a doctor, look at their past performance, or a girlfriend, eh? look at their past performance and that's going to be the best indicator of future per performance because over, because people can change but it's slow. But it's also true if you look at the returns of assets like stocks or bonds, uh, real estate, gold, you look at the cycles, the long term cycles and that will give you the best indicator of what they will perform in the future. And that's also true for things that have a short history, like crypto only is 10 years old. Uh, so it's a short history, but past performance is the best indicator of future performance. So we look at the past performance of crypto and then we can see that um, while the cycles become longer and longer over time, <clears throat> the first cycle till 2011, the second cycle till um, uh, the peak was 2013. The third cycle, the peak was 2017, end of 2017. So you see it's like two years, three years, uh, from peak to peak, four years. Huh? Uh, and so it becomes longer and longer. And so the most likely is that from peak to peak, it will now be five years. Huh? Uh, and so um, that means that the bottom is not expected to be there already. Like in previous bear market, uh, the bottom was there after one year. Now many people think the bottom was again there after one year in December 2018 at 3,200, but that's not likely. It's more likely that the bottom will be only after one year and a half. Huh? Also very important is um, the, uh, the cycle. Yes, you can go. Huh? Uh, the cycles, uh, very important. 
bulls become weaker and bears become stronger. Uh, you can see this also. I will post the link of the chart below. But um, if you look at the trend line of valuations, you see that compared to the trend line, the bulls were in overvaluation, went a lot more in overvaluation the first time, less the second time, even less the third time. So, very likely, the next bubble, it will go even less in overvaluation. Huh? But undervaluation goes up over time. Uh, the undervaluation in the bear of 2011 was only a little and very short. But the bear of 2015, it was a lot more and a lot longer. So the bear of 2019 will likely be even longer, uh, even go deeper in undervaluation and it will take a longer time. And so these are just mo the more most likely scenarios. It me doesn't mean it's a guarantee. There are always exceptions, patterns can be broken. But if you're gonna have to bet your money, bet it on this scenario because that's the most likely. And so that means you cannot be invested from that perspective already a majority in crypto. It's too soon. Huh? Um, and then when it comes to Bitcoin, most investors believe in Bitcoin BTC over Bitcoin BCH, even my followers by far, huh? but there too. You have to look at a uh, past performance. Um, one moment. Uh, and so, um, fees have, like, due to the way it was managed, they believe in a store of value, Bitcoin Core, eh, uh, that, that it will succeed based on store of value. And medium of exchange is not so important according to them. As a result, transaction fees have gone up a lot. Uh, and again now the past few weeks uh, like one dollar per transaction so this continues to be the case and con will likely continue to be the case in the future eh? because past performance is the best indicator of future performance and that simply won't allow to bitcoin btc to be very competitive compared to alternatives eh? and alternatives are many alternative cryptocurrencies also called altcoins but just called cryptos in general will compete and will win because they will be cheaper. Huh? But then you can say, yeah, but they don't have the network effect like Bitcoin has. Yes, but there is no network effect when you only have investors. There is only a network effect when you have users. Huh? Like the more users you have, the more merchants that accept, for example, Bitcoin, the more difficult it is to destroy because it's a network effect. But that does not apply to investors. The more investors you have, well, that doesn't matter. Uh, the, the, it doesn't become more valuable based on the amount inv of investors. It becomes more valuable based on the amount of users. Eh? Like, um, so, so, so this is not happening for Bitcoin BTC because it's mostly investors, not users. So, so the network effect is not a, an argument that's going to keep it up. And so, yeah, um, high transaction fees, not a network effect to its advantage. Uh, it's a very risky investment. Eh? Like, you have to invest based on margin of safety you're gonna invest in things like yes it can all fail but so you have to really be careful when you make investment invest in things that already in the past are doing well huh? that's going to give you the best guarantee to invest in something that, 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 that grows the best and if you look at the amount of transaction btc it's again peaking out the on-chain transactions yes it's doing well but it's not it can't go higher it's again at its top transaction fees explode and you see the amount of transactions go down again so there is a top in, in growth eh, uh, uh, for on-chain. And, and even if off-chain succeeds, even if the Lightning Network succeeds, these are off-chain transactions that have a much lower value uh, than on-chain transactions. Eh? You have counterparty risk and all kinds of uh, things that you don't want to have. So um, I really hope uh, that, uh, that, uh, that you guys dig deeper into that and, and, and can convince yourself to look at alternatives um, the bear market is, in my opinion, not over. What I'm telling today will become shared knowledge when the bear goes through. Uh, like people will start to really question, not just some side voices, but the masses will start to think, like, oh, what's happening with Bitcoin here going down so much? Hmm, maybe they are not doing so well. Let's see. What are they not doing well? Oh, actually, yeah, the amount of adoption is actually going bad. These high transaction fees, actually, that is not good. And actually, people going to start, why? most people are going to start really believe that yes it's not managed well like this is not widespread belief but it will come and you want to be out of it before people see that eh? um, to the contrary something like bitcoin BC bch bitcoin cash 
is is doing much better in my opinion when it comes to like adoption the amount of merchants that sh signing up for example um, and um, and Ethereum of course is doing tremendously well huh? uh, but but these are things that are not priced in yet huh? uh, if you compare it to Bitcoin BTC so I recommend really to stay out of Bitcoin BTC uh, also today to if you want to stay in crypto okay switch it at least for some more valuable cryptos that do a lot better when it comes to adoption so as uh, like Ethereum and, uh, and BCH uh, and, and, and also reduce your crypto exposure. Uh, we're now at a temporary peak, I think. Uh, we're at 180 billion uh, valuation. I think the bottom will be a lot lower. Uh, 80 billion, maybe 60 billion. Uh, so that's good by three from here over the next half year. So really think, uh, think about these things. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.